The Widows and Orphans Support of Africa, WOSA, has issued a call to action for widows across the country, urging them to break free from self-pity and embrace financial independence. Speaking at a well-attended empowerment program in Lagos, WOSA leaders emphasized that widows should not be at the mercy of others, particularly men, but rather take control of their lives through self-reliance and investment in their futures. Plus TV News correspondent Love Oyedekong was there and now reports. For many widows in Africa, the death of a husband can often mark the beginning of a long struggle for financial stability and social acceptance. This may be the puzzle which the widows and orphans support of Africa WOSA sets out to resolve through this empowerment program. The seminar themed prioritizing investment in the prevention of violence against women and children was well attended by widows and orphans from Leki Ekme Axis of Lagos State. They were trained on liquid soap making, pastries, among others. It also featured motivational talks, practical financial workshops, and success stories from women who have overcome significant personal challenges to become financially independent. I'm a widow, and uh, I can say that I am doing very well in my space as a woman. So I will advise them that they should be more innovative, more creative, especially in terms of the kind of business, wherever they find themselves, the space they find themselves, they should make something positive out of it, rather than depending on people. For instance, if you're a market woman, you are selling tomatoes. There's a way you can package your selling of tomatoes. It will be different from every other person that sells tomatoes. Ambassador Tayo Thomas is a president, widows and orphans support of Africa, WOSA. He speaks more on the theme of the day. After the skills acquisition, we have uh, uh, their candidates with forward money to ensure that they build their that skills. Then we have a cooperative that help them, uh, uh, that help them to we have a cooperative that helps them to expand this business. How? When we give you money to kickstart, as you are building the business, we also look at monitor it to ensure you're doing well. We, we, when, you, when you are doing well, we put more money to ensure that you can expand your business, to grow your business. Jennifer Thomas, the host of the program, spoke passionately about the importance of shifting mindsets from hopelessness to empowerment. I keep telling women, don't wait. Don't be waiting for that man to take you away from suffering. You can take yourself from suffering. If you are independent, a man will respect you. Your husband's family will respect you. People in diaspora will respect you because you are doing something for yourself. You are not waiting for anybody. He that waits for a dead man, she will go barefootedly. Why don't you pick up the challenge and start something for yourself? If your certificate is not putting food on your table, skills will definitely put food on your table. Think of something. The attendees expressed gratitude for the knowledge gained and vowed to return to their communities with a renewed sense of purpose. I'm a fashion designer and I have three boys before I lost my husband. So next year January will be complete one year. So I use my handwork to train up the my, and I look for maybe somebody want to wash clothes, they want to do house. I used to go and help them to do one or two things that can be able to brought up my children. We thank God we are Pateka. And what we are believing God that whatever they have taught us today and whatever we are able to get today, we put it into practice that as we gather next year, that there will be a difference in our life. Wosa's message is one of hope and resilience, encouraging women to explore entrepreneurship, financial literacy, and other avenues of self sufficiency. Love Uyidukun. Plus TV News. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.